Hey guys, welcome back to Chrome Dome Kitchen. Today is a really special recipe uh, because it's one I hold near and dear to my heart and I'm kind of sad I'm sharing it with the world. It is my chili recipe. First and foremost, uh, we have our ground beef. We picked this up from Whole Foods. Now, uh, I did pick up one that is a little bit more lean because we're gonna be using all of the fat that comes out of it. We're not gonna drain any of it. Uh, we also have our homemade uh, tomato sauce. We're gonna have some organic tomato paste. We've got some chili peppers here. Butter for when we're browning the ground beef. Uh, surprise ingredient here, uh, we've got some chocolate. Uh, we're gonna throw in an onion. If you don't have an onion and you just wanna use spices, you can use an onion powder. Um, we are not going to use garlic, so instead of that, we're gonna use garlic powder, tons of paprika, a leaf of oregano, chili powder, ancho ground chili pepper, cinnamon, paprika, uh, the whole flakes here, and chipotle chili pepper with some bay leaves and ginger. So with the cinnamon and the ginger, I'm actually substituting that today instead of nutmeg. So I'm substituting that for nutmeg. Uh, that's usually what I do to complement the chocolate. Um, but since we're out of nutmeg, it's fine to go ahead and use a, like any kind of combination of ground cinnamon, ginger, allspice, cloves, you know, those sort of flavors. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so now we've moved over to the stove. We uh, took out our big pot. This is usually what I use to make our chili. Um, I also usually make it in pretty large batches where I'm making three pounds of beef at once uh, or more. Uh, today we're just doing one pound, uh, but we've gone ahead, thrown in half a stick of butter there. We're gonna put it on medium. Once it's melted down, we're gonna throw in the beef. All right, we got the butter melted down. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our beef here. That's one important thing is you wanna get the pot hot enough so as soon as you throw the meat in, you're getting that sizzle immediately. Uh, we did not mention in our ingredient intro that we're gonna be using salt and pepper. It's kind of an obvious. So for our one pound, we're not going to use the entire jar that we have here, we're only going to use about half. So once that's in, we're just going to kind of move it around. We're going to keep cooking it for a little bit here. I like to throw these in at the beginning, uh, it brings it a good bit of heat and flavor. You want some chili, Dio? You want chili? Dio, you want some chili? Yeah. So we still got some pink, we're gonna keep this cooking. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our half a red onion. And we'll leave this for about two or three minutes, uh, let the onions uh, cook a little bit, and then we'll come back, add in our other spices. All right, so the onions have had a little bit of time to cook in here. Uh, we threw the lid on, allowing it to steam, uh, speeding up that cook time a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our tomato paste, help thicken it up and really make it a chili. We've already taken off the top, but one little secret that uh, my aunt taught me is you're gonna also take off the bottom. You're gonna go all the way around. You don't need to keep anything on. Take that off, flip it over, and you push the whole thing through. And then you don't need to scoop. Done. Now it's time to add our spices. Can you hand me a spoon, please? <laughs> Beautiful. This doesn't need to be done in any particular order. The important thing is just getting the spices into the pot. I'm uh, starting off with our chipotle chili pepper. Ancho ground pepper, chili powder. We don't have that much left, so I'm just gonna uh, the paprika and the flake style. Chili pepper. Or the chili, well, it says paprika on it. I might have put the wrong lid on. Our chili pepper flakes. Oh, baby. 
They like it spicy. Also, I've gone ahead and turned uh, the heat as I'm adding in all of the flavors uh, to low medium. We'll just stir as we go. As I'm looking in, I'd like to see more red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually go back to the red pepper flakes. Add a little more. The oregano, I don't use as much oregano as I do the other ingredients. And then we've got our paprika and this isn't spicy, it's just good for that well-rounded smoky flavor that you want from a chili. So, heaping spoonful. And a little extra. Let's see. I'm getting a sizzle, so we can just go ahead and blend this all up. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic powder. Um, if you'd like, you can use fresh garlic. You know, you can press it. If you don't have garlic lying around, this is just fine. Uh, we're going to do about that much. So it is a little bit thicker than what I would like for it to be, so I'm just going to add a little bit more of the tomato sauce. So now, I would argue are the most important ingredients to my chili. Um, this is what's going to make it really balanced uh, as far as the spice and the flavor profile goes. Uh, we're going to add our cinnamon. This we don't want too much of. This is not like our other spices where it's like, yes, bam, you know, like emerald in the kitchen. Uh, kind of want to be a little bit, we want hints of it. We don't want it to overpower anything. So a little bit of the cinnamon and then the ginger. Again, the cinnamon and the ginger are an alternative to what I normally put in, which is nutmeg. And now the chocolate. Uh, we're using Lily's original dark chocolate. Um, a lot of folks in keto forums uh, use this chocolate and it really is the best if you're going on this diet or if you're um, like our household that really has it more as a lifestyle. So we'll just break it off, making it a little bit easier to melt. And we're gonna add two rows of this chocolate. At this point, it is important to mix with the chocolate, otherwise it can burn to the bottom. And then if you burn it, if you burn a sauce, it's it's done. So you don't want to burn it. You want to make sure that you are stirring it. All right. So now we want the the beef to finish cooking. We want it to simmer and sit in all of those flavors. So we're really at the last step here. We're gonna go ahead and throw in our bay leaves. I normally do two or three depending on how much I'm cooking, because I'm just doing one pound, I'm just gonna do one bay leaf. Give it a good mix. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn it off for a second, mix it all around, let the pot cool a little bit, because from this point on, we're gonna throw the lid on, leave it on a low heat, and come back every three or four minutes, stir it up, and do that for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then we're ready to eat. All right, so we're ready for our taste test. We've added some cheese, some green onion, and a little bit of sour cream. So we're getting a little bit of everything in that bite. It's hitting everything, it's hitting the spice. You get a little bit of that chocolate. This is just amazing chili. Of course I'm biased, but I think you should try it for yourself. So let us know in the comments below that you tried our recipe, what you think about it. We'd love to see pictures too. Alright, that's it for this episode of Chrome Dome Kitchen. Take it easy, y'all.